When I was 10 years old, I used to watch a show called SpongeBob SquarePants. It was my favorite show, and I used to buy toys that was from SpongeBob. Every day, I would get up and watch some television of SpongeBob. I kept watching SpongeBob until the age of 13. I got bored with it. I was really into bikes. I fixed bikes in my garage and get money for fixing it. That was my first job. When I was 15 or 16, I worked at a supermarket. I was usually the cashier or I was bagging. Now I'm 20 years old, telling you this. My girlfriend worked for the night, and my cousin called me to take care of his kids for him. I said I would, and I would get $20 for doing that, right? He replied back, yes, you will. I was looking a show to watch, and I came across a new Spongebob episode. I decided to watch the, spo- the show for the memories. It started with this theme song. I started singing the theme song. After that was over, the title said dot dot dot. It was weird because I never saw one episode that said dot dot dot. I continued watching this, the episode, and it shows Spongebob's house. Spongebob was getting ready for work. He came to the calendar and said, Oh boy, it is time to contest. He started running to the Krusty Krab. When Spongebob arrived, Mr. Krabs was waiting there. Mr. Krabs spoken, Hey, boy, what are you so excited about? Spongebob replied back, Today's, Today is the contest. Mr. Krabs says, what, what is this contest? Spongebob said, it's about who is the best fry cook. Mr. Krabs said, how much money if they win? Spongebob said, $10,000. Mr. Krabs' eyes were dollar signs now. He replied to Spongebob, you better win, and if you win, you'll get a promotion. Spongebob was excited and said, okay, Mr. Krabs. Then a scene shows up, Spongebob, and a bunch of fry cooks. The then a judge says, begin cooking. It shows a bunch of people working hard to win that 10 grand. Then the judge says, stop. The judge came by and tried all their food. The judge finally made his decision. He says, the winner is the burrito fry cook. SpongeBob ran back to his house and all of his friends were watching him ran- run away crying. Sandy says, where are you going? The scene changes to Spongebob in his house. He was crying next to his bed. He then had an idea. He said, so, he wins, huh? Well, he is going to die tonight. Then someone was knocking on his door. Spongebob answered the door. And while he was answering the door, he took out a knife out of the kitchen. It was Sandy. She said, are you okay? Spongebob said, I'm okay. Come inside. Sandy said, okay. When the door closes, Spongebob walked up to her and said, goodbye, Sandy. Spongebob stabbed Sandy in the chest and Sandy was screaming in pain. Spongebob grabbed her arm and ripped it out of her. Blood started to drip from her chest and arm. Then she said, Her last words, why, Spongebob, why? Then she was dead. Spongebob started to stab her a bunch of times everywhere around her body. Spongebob said, I had enough of this. Let's kill everyone in the Bikini Bottom, and laughed. A A scene shows Spongebob killing everyone, one by one. Everyone is dying, except for Spongebob. Spongebob, stop. Spongebob was breaking the fourth wall, saying, Kids, stop watching my show. You ruined everything in my life. Then Spongebob walked into his house and grabbed a rope and tied it on top of a ceiling. He said his last words, Goodbye, everyone. And then he jumped down the ceiling and he hanged himself. The show ended saying the end in bloody words. I was so shocked what I saw today. 
I kept on staring at the TV for a couple minutes. I then heard my doorbell ring. I opened the door, and it was my cousin. I told him I will take care of them, and my cousin said, okay. Then he left. His kids asked me, let's watch Spongebob. I said, no, let's watch something else. After they left, I was thinking to myself, how did this happen? What was the point of the episode? Why I was watching the episode? That's a story about how Spongebob ruined my childhood.